Good morning, children. This is class eight, physics, chapter nine, force and pressure. Today we are going to start with the topic pressure. So, children, you might have noticed this that when you walk on sand, you feel difficult to walk. because our feet it get sink into the sand but on the other hand children you might have seen the camels walking easily on the sand why because the pressure exerted the force put by our feet is more as compared to camel right here we do have something related to area also area of our foot and area of the camel's foot but we can start with the pressure that the pressure exerted by our feet on the sand is greater and so our feet it sinks into the desert sand while the pressure exerted by the foot of the camel is less and so the camels are able to walk easily because of their broad feet right let's move further so children pressure how can you define pressure pressure can be defined as pressure can be defined as force on unit area right for example here you can see in the picture that a hammer is applying force on the nail and the area on which the force is applied by the hammer is the tip of the nail right the pointed part is known as the tip of the nail and the broad part at the top on which we are hitting the hammer is known as the you can call it as the head of the nail right so the tip of the nail it's of way it's pointed so area is very less so on that area the force is applied by the hammer so this force on the area of the nail is known as pressure right for example in your class when you are putting the charts on the bulletin board what do you do you put the thumb in children yes so you apply force by your thumb on the head of the thumb pin and where that force is transmitted that is transmitted to the tip of the thumb pin which is going to get inserted in the bulletin board so by that pressure is created when you apply force on a very on a pre, on a small area on some area that pressure is created so how you will define pressure pressure is force acting on unit area so pressure is force upon area pressure formula is force by area right beta so let's see the factors on which pressure depends so children uh, pressure it depends upon two factors firstly pressure is directly proportional to force more the force you apply more will be the pressure right if you apply less force less will be the pressure so if you increase force pressure will increase if you decrease force pressure will decrease so we will say that the pressure is directly proportional to force right so that is known as directly proportional if one is increasing other also increases and if one is decreasing the other one will also decrease that is called directly proportional okay the second factor on which pressure depends is area but it depends inversely upon area inversely means your pressure is proportional to 1 upon area means if the area is small if the area is small you are having less area as you put the thumb pin on the bulletin board the tip of the pin is very sharp right and the area is very less of that pin so as the area is less the pressure when you apply force the pressure becomes more because you are applying that force on a very small area and so the pressure will increase and the thumping gets in the bulletin board 
right for example same pressure which you are applying on the thumb pin you apply that pressure on a blunt thumb pin means the thumb pin which is not that pointed which is not a brand new it has got rusted so what will happen it will be thick in the front and when you apply the same force suppose you are applying a force of 10 newton and you are applying the same force then it will be difficult to insert that rusted old thumb pin with more area as compared to a brand new pointed thumb pin right beta so pressure is inversely proportional to area less area more pressure and if area is more and if area is more pressure will be less right i'll give you an example of this also so let's move to the next slide so children what is pressure pressure is force exerted force acting on unit area force upon area is your pressure this is the formula on what factors does pressure depend pressure depends upon two factors first is it depends upon force that is it is directly proportional to force and second it depends upon area that is it inversely proportional to area now children let's see how pressure depends upon area as i told you that pressure is inversely proportional to area if the area is more then the pressure will be less right ulta ho gaya here so let's see an example of it children when you carry your school bags you might have noticed that your school bags they have broad straps this strap na With, uh, which you put it on your shoulder they are very broad they are they are wide why because if you make broad straps if you make wide straps what are you doing you are just increasing the area so when you are increasing the area of the straps by making them broad by making them wide what are you doing as you are increasing the area so the pressure on your shoulder due to the bag will be less and as the pressure on your shoulder is less it will become easy for you to carry your school bag right but now so let's read it see we know pressure is inversely proportional to area so if area is more then the pressure will be less and therefore it becomes easy to carry the school bag with wide straps as compared to thin straps okay chalo this was one example where we showed the relation between pressure and area that is they are inversely proportional to each other next is this one so it is easy to hammer a sharp nail for example you are having two nails one is a brand new pointed nail and other one is a old one which was there in your house and it has got rusted and so the tip of the nail it is not that pointed right so the brand new one the, the new one will have the pointed tip that is it will be having less area the new nail but the old nail which was lying in your house the sizes are same children right the sizes are same but this has got rusted from the front so as it has got rusted from the front its area will be more right now we know pressure is inversely proportional to area so for a sharp nail for a very sharp nail the area will be less and the, as the area is the less when we apply the force of suppose in both the cases we are applying a force of 10 newton in both the case on a sharp nail as well as on a blunt nail but as the area of the sharp nail is less so on the application of 10 newton force more pressure will be produced 
and as more pressure is produced it becomes easy to hammer that nail in but on application of the same force that is 10 newton but as the area of the old nail is more so the pressure produced will not be that will not be equal to the previous case it will be less and as the pressure is less it will be difficult to hammer the blunt nail in the pocket right let's see one more example here children you might have noticed this that it is really difficult to walk on a sandy floor with the pencil nails right pencil heels when you are having wearing why because it becomes easy uh, why it becomes difficult to walk on a sandy floor because you know pressure is inversely proportional to area pressure is inversely proportional to area and the area of the pencil heel is less the area of the pencil heel is less right this is an arrow showing down means it is less and as the area is less the pressure will be more so more pressure is applied because of the less area of the pencil heel and because of the more pressure the pencil heel it sinks into the sand making it difficult to walk with the pencil heel right so how can it be written it can be written pressure is inversely proportional to area therefore less pressure will produce more sorry less area will produce more pressure and so it becomes difficult to walk on sand when we are wearing a pencil heel right beta so just you have to give the relation between area and pressure and then you will say as the area of the pencil heel is less so it will produce more pressure and it at in and it makes difficult to walk on the sandy floor right next same pressure and area we are having here two knives one is dull knife means it is blunt right a old one right and it is not sharp now and you are having a new brand new sharp knife with which one do you think it will be easier to cut the vegetables obviously with a sharp knife right why why what is the case because children with the sharp knife the area of the sharp knife is less the sharp knife is very pointed it is very sharp so as it is sharp its area is less but the blunt knife right its area is more and you know pressure is inversely proportional to area so here in this case you are having less area means the pressure produced with the knife will be more and here in the blunt knife you are having more area of the blunt knife so the pressure produced will be less so on application of 10 newton of force suppose you are applying 10 newton of force in both the cases then it is easier to cut the vegetables with the sharp knife because the pressure produced is more right you are applying same force 10 newton doing it on application of that force with the sharp knife the vegetables get cut easily because that force will produce more pressure but the same force will produce less pressure when you are using a dull knife so it becomes difficult to cut vegetables with a dull knife right so let's read it we know pressure is inversely proportional to area this is a common line this has to come so less is the area more will be the pressure therefore it becomes easy to peel vegetables with a sharp knife instead of blunt knife right beta so you can write that as the area of the sharp knife is less so it will produce more pressure as compared to a blunt knife and so it becomes easier to cut vegetables using a sharp knife okay okay children i think you are very well aware with the relation between the pressure and the area that is they are inversely proportional to each other more area less pressure less area more pressure here we can see two more examples that is you might have seen a military tanker right 
So on that wheel, you will see that it is covered with a belt. It is covered with a rubber belt, rubber strip. Why? Because it is covered so that the area of the wheel can be increased, right? It will increase the area of the tank which is in touch with the ground. So as the area will become more, as the area increases, the pressure will decrease. And as pressure decreases, so the tank will not sink in the sand. Because we less pressure produced around the sand. And so it becomes easy for the military tankers to walk, uh, sorry, to move on the sand or snow. Because their area has been increased, the area of the wheels have been increased by putting a belt, rubber strip over it. So area becomes more, and as area is more, the pressure becomes less. Right? Similarly, in nature, God has gifted the elephants and the bears broad feet. Right? You can see the camel's feet also. Right? Why they have been gifted with the broad feet? Because as their feet are broad, means their area of their feet is more. And as the area is more, the pressure exerted by them when they walk on the snow, when they walk on the sand is less. And as pressure is less, they are able to walk easily on any soft surface. It might be snow, it might be sand, etc. So this is the relation between pressure and area. So, a lot we saw about the relation between pressure and area. Right, children? So, let's see the formula and the SI unit of pressure. Right, children? So, pressure formula is pressure is what? It is force upon area. That is the area on which force is applied. So, the, the symbol used for pressure is P. The symbol used for force is capital F and the symbol used for area is capital A. This way. Right? Now, children here also, based on the name of a scientist as it was in the case of uh, Newton, right? The SI unit of force Newton. It was based on the name of the scientist, right? Newton. So, similarly here also, the scientist that is Blaise Pascal he was doing experiments on air pressure. So he gave his own name as the SI unit of pressure. So the SI unit of pressure is Pascal. So similarly here also when you write Pascal, you are going to start with small. It should be small throughout. Small P-A-S-C-L Pascal. Or you can write the symbol and in the symbol you can see it is capital P and small s. So, this is the SI unit of pressure. So, here pressure, pressure SI unit is Pascal. So, we can write Pascal. P, capital P, small s. Force, force SI unit is Newton, capital N. Area SI unit is meter square. Right? So, we can write this. Now, if I want to define one Pascal, if I want to define one Pascal, one, one, one. Right? One. So, children so here, what is one Newton? One Newton is the force which we have applying. Right? And what is one meter square? One meter square is the area on which we are applying the force of one Newton. Then the pressure that will be produced will be one Pascal. So, children, how you are going to define one Pascal? One Pascal is what? It is the pressure. One Pascal is the pressure applied when? When? The force of one newton, when the force of one newton acts on an area of one meter square. So, this is the definition of one pascal. One pascal is the pressure produced, pressure applied when one newton of force acts on an area of one meter square. So, this is a very important definition, children, the definition for one pascal. So, this is your formula, you know, pressure equals to force upon area. This formula can be written in a triangle like this. So, your pressure, you will write this and force upon area. So, you have to remember this 
Once you remember this, all your formulas will be easier to remember. Now from this, if you want to make a subject of formula, right? A ko a ka value find karni hai. If you want to find the value of a, then how it will be done? Area equals to pressure force is in the numerator. Pressure is in the denominator. So area equals to force upon pressure. Suppose you want to find the value of force. Force equals to this two are in multiplication. Force equals to area into pressure. Right? So this is your formula for pressure. That is pressure equals to force upon area. 